another episode of Bello and Gennetto. I am Christina, and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. So uh, if you're new here, thank you so much. I have gotten some new subscribers recently. If you've been here for a little while, because I've only been here for a little while, you're greatly appreciated. Uh, and if you are new here and you're interested in more, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, I always hate saying that. It always sounds so cheesy, but um, if you subscribe, then the more people that subscribe, the more people that want to get notified, the more you'll see my videos pop up. Um, so if you really like the content, then uh, you won't have to go searching for it. YouTube will give it to you. And then they'll also push it out to other people that might be interested. So yeah, that's it for that. Um, in my previous video... Uh, I showed my little zombie bots. They're so cute. Yes, they're so cute. Um, and I told you guys that I had made these um, with the I Love This Yarn mini skeins and showed you all of that. But the stitching, so like the little mouth and the little scars and things... Um, this one has purple and orange. This one has black and purple, right? Um, I was actually, I love going to resale shops, uh, because I'm really into, um, reuse, upcycling. You know, if somebody is giving something away, I don't want it to go in the landfill if it can be reused in some capacity and almost everything can be reused in some capacity or, recycled or composted. Uh, one day I'll take you guys out to my compost pile if you're interested. Um, and if you are interested, put it in the comments below. So I know if you want to see it, just the system in general, it's not fancy. It's not fancy, but it was made with repurposed materials. So that's good. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Mm, that hurt the side. Okay. So, uh, I went to, uh, a, resale shop. That's where I went to. It's actually a consignment store. So the difference there is resale shops will take your items and, um, sometimes you'll have a booth or they'll buy them. And then you, it's like a 60, 40 split, whatever, however they do it for money. Consignment shops, uh, they tend to buy all of your items, pay you for it. Uh, and then they will, sorry, there's a little birdie. Hopping. I'm wondering if Nero's gonna see it. <laughs> um, they pay you in one lump sum and then they sell the items. This place, uh, they pay you as your items sell. So it is in Swansboro, I think. I don't remember. I'll put it, I'll put the name of the store in there. They don't have a website, I don't think. They do have an Etsy shop, though. They do have an Etsy shop where they sell items. Anyway, I found this. Um, I did not pay $24 for it, uh, but it's called New to You, um, and it's variegated embroidery floss, and I thought it was really cool. Um, I When I go into the store, I typically don't see the variegated Maybe I'm just not looking hard enough, but it has a lot of different, oops, this way, colors in here. All of these colors are in the box. Um, and you can tell I've used, I've used it, but there are two, um, of each one. So there are two of each color. And I actually have, oh, here, here's one. Uh, this is the black and gray one, and I got these in a pack um, at Hobby Lobby. And I just I just wrap my embroidery floss around them. That way, as I use it, I need to get one out for the orange. I didn't do that yet, but uh, as I use them, I can recycle the little wrappers, and then eventually I'll recycle the plastic box as well. I'll do something else with it or put it in the recycling bin, something like that. So, but that's one thing that I found there. Uh, and then 
The rest of what I found, it's not yarn. Uh, it is there. It's a, it's a set of books. So uh, I am a teacher and I teach virtually right now. But even when I wasn't teaching virtually, um, I love to read to my students. I teach middle school, high school students, but they still love to be read to. Just like, not exactly like sit in a circle and read, but they love to be read to. They love children's stories. Um, it brings back memories. So like I would read different things to them on plot structure and character structure and different things like that as we were practicing with some more grade level stories. But uh, I also love to do like folk tales, legends, myths, that kind of thing, especially uh, just as a fun unit. And so I found some books that I'm really excited to share. Uh, this is Celtic Parables. I'm not going to read them to you, right? Because I don't know like the copyright rules for these books. I know that like if I did a video and I put it in my little classroom for classroom use, that's okay. It's educational use, but this is not um, an educational video, so I can't read it to you. But um, I can show you the table of contents, so if you wanted to purchase the book, you could purchase the book yourself. Um, yeah. So there's the table of contents. Uh, and it's, it's great so that kids see... Um, that there are things other than Greek and Roman, which I love Greek and Roman, don't get me wrong, but there are things other than that out there. This is Hansel and Gretel, but it's a pop-up book, you guys. It's a pop-up book. I'm so excited. Um, even my daughter loves this one. But it's just, sorry, I'm trying not to tear it up. It's just a little pop-up. See? It's so cute. Um, and then I found this. This is called Cinder Ellie. Now, this um, Cinderella is an old, old tale, right? But it's been adapted into almost every culture, right? There's a Chinese one um, with red shoes. There's, of course, the Disney version. Um, Ever After with Drew Barrymore, the movie. Um, this is a great little story um she is in a um a city there's a cityscape on the back um but she gets uh the help of a trash can a copy machine or a glass sneaker so i thought that was a really great adaptation um i also participated in a national <clears throat> endowment for the humanities workshop Several years ago, um, it was um, adaptations, and we did monsters and um, heroines, and so we studied Cinderella and Frankenstein and different adaptations of those. <laughs>